aminin ko, naiiyak ako. Nakaiyak naman talaga. Kay doktora ako naiiyak. Ewan ko bakit ako naiiyak sa kanya. We just came here to try again. Pero sinabi, narinig ko meron daw. And may cyst daw. They would also remove the cyst. So kung hindi man maging successful ang aming attempt, at least kayo may matutunan hindi pa. So mga tanong ng tanong, bakit ako walang anak, eto yun. Sa lahat ng pinagdaanan niya aming pagsubok, um, salamat pa rin sa Diyos for everything. Happy 15 years to us! Filipino tayo, kaya lumalaban tayo, nakangiti. Come with me, put your hands together, tara, let's be happy. together and uh, well personally ako yung gusto talaga magpasalamat sa Diyos kasi grabe yung pinagdaanan ko pinagdaanan na uh, but today is remarkable because sa lahat ng pinagdaanan niya aming pagsubok um, salamat pa rin sa Diyos for everything so yeah happy 15 years to us daddy yeah <laughs> 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 Not being able to carry a child is a very painful journey for me. Ito ang bubog ko. In my 30s, I knew I have endometriosis. I had a surgery, but I didn't go to a fertility doctor. Sabi ko, kung para sa amin, para sa amin. So, I continued on with my life, working hard, doing my field work. And yeah, enjoying travels with my husband. But when I hit my 40s, last trip na to, so I asked myself, did I really try hard enough? Hello, Badets. Here we are. We just celebrated our birthday. Happy birthday. May cake pa tayo. Uh -oh. And at 46, here we are embarking on a new journey. I am going to fertility clinic. Hindi ko na alam when exactly namin sinubukan ng asawa na magkaroon ng baby. Uh, Nag-try kami magka-baby via in vitro. Nakabuo tayo ng baby. Galing. One shot. But after a few weeks, we lost Molly. And we're trying again. Ngayon, babalik tayo sa kato. Ngayon, ang gagawin sa atin ay i-injection na tayo ng hormones and itong hormone na ito uh, will mimic ano ba? Menopause. Why? Para lumit yung buto doon sa atin. So, we'll see after a few months kung ano ang mangyayari sa atin. Ano to? Um, one shot every 28 days. So, there. <laughs> oh my goodness! Good to see you. Ooh. Ah, okay. So, iko ako para ako ng sakit niya. Parang parang yung shot ko rin ng rabies. Oh, ganon din siya. Uh -oh. So, hindi naman ganun kasakit. Okay na. Mas masakit yung skin test. Yeah. Say hi to Dr. Richie. By the way, ikakwento ko lang na the first time I learned I had endometriosis was also because of salamat doc. Okay, nag tayo ng OB and we went. 
So we learned that meron tayong endometriosis and endometriosis is one of the causes of infertility. Yon among women. Uh, kaya tayo nag-effort na to have a workup. Tapos later on nalaman natin ang ating fallopian tube ay barado. Therefore, talagang ang chance ng talaga natin to get pregnant is through IVF. Mayoma? Sis. Sis ta ko? Na naman? Pagano'n? We just came here to try again, pero sinabi, narinig ko meron daw, and may cyst daw. Kasi ang isang option natin is to avoid surgery. I-aspirate natin yung laman. Pwede yun? Para lang lumuwag? Para mawala siya. But of course, uh, pwede yung bumalik. Pero if you get pregnant, that will prevent it from coming back during the pregnancy. Just to avoid another surgery, yun ang iniisip ko. Myomas, um, they may either grow with the pregnancy, or they will stay the same, or they may shrink. We will only know once it happens. Okay? Uh, it may cause pain sometimes during the pregnancy. Uh, may myoma ka dito, kasi dito sa katang cervix kasi mayroon dito sa may dulo kaya ito yung cavity eh, yung dry cavity so kung titignan naman natin siya from the front so ito, ito so para siyang yung dumaw sa loob ng yung dry cavity we say bye, bye, -bye. Dr. Chimed Yola Kato see you soon see you soon, see you soon. bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Ingat, bye, -bye. how do I feel? Honestly, I feel frustrated kasi akala ko simple lang yung yung pag-implant ng embryos. So, I told asawa very briefly kanina na parang pagod na yung katawan ko from trying. This is the day. It's actually September 1, 2022 and we are going to Kato. Um, finally, we are going through the process of implanting our embryo, our last embryo. So, matagal-tagal rin tayong nag-decide bago tayo pumunta dito for transfer. Uh, I would say we explored all options, uh, even surrogacy sa sa US because of the success ng mga kasama natin. Sa pagdarasal ko today, um, well, sinabi naman ng doctor ko dito sa Kato na we have a better chance than before because our uterus looks good and we went through several tests already. So, para sa akin, giving a miracle a chance. This is actually our second attempt. Good luck. Good luck talaga. Dasal pa more. Nanginginig siya. <laughs> Ikaw manginig. Ayan nun. <laughs> okay po. <laughs> okay. Deep breath on three po. Ikaw mag deep breath. Ayan <laughs> <laughs> pa. One, two, three. Okay. Sayo kaya ba? <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I don't know if someone out there will be inspired by this story. Um, our first doctor, Dr. Mendiola, I'm getting a second uh, opinion from Dr. Manalo to see whether itutuloy ko pa or hindi na. At least what we want then is the hard truth whether ano, at least alam mo yung chances mo. Um, kung itutuloy pa natin or not, at least we get some closure sa ating buhay. Ano? Yeah, we can talk about what would be the best options to take. Mm -hmm. And it will have to be a, um, a unified view. It can't be just my view, it can't mm -hmm. be just your view. It really has to be a consensus between the two of us. Kasi 
para feeling ko, dapat pinag-uusapan yung yung fertility issues. Unless, kung hindi natin pag-uusapan, paano natin gagamot yan? Paano aayusin? So, feeling ko, it's always been tabu. Alam mo, ayaw natin pinag-uusapan. So, parang feeling ko, parang kapag sinabing walang anak, titake lang natin na, eh kasi, hindi binigay ng Diyos. Pero kung may sakit kayo, makakailangan gamutin, kagaya ko. No, kahit na ano, parang kasi inisip ko, am I in a rush to do it? Or should I do it right? Kasi, I'm already 46. Yeah, but you already have an embryo. So okay. you can you can take your time in trying to correct this. So kung hindi man maging successful ang aming attempt, at least kayo may matutunan hindi pa. I would also remove the cyst. Unless this is a pseudocyst, but it looks more like a cyst talaga. So mga tanong ng tanong, bakit ako walang anak? Ito yun. Okay. Hindi dahil sa ayaw natin magkaanak. In fact, mas masakit pa nga yung tanong ninyo. Dahil gusto namin, kaso eto nga, it's complicated, o. Oh. So there, aaminin ko, naiiyak ako. Nakaiyak naman talaga. Kay doktora ako naiiyak, ewan ko bakit ako naiiyak sa kanya. I told her uh, to relax. Hindi naman siya, in fairness kay doktor, palagi siyang kalmado. Pero palagi ako, hindi ako umiyak kay Doc Richie, hindi na ako umiyak kay Doc Majo, although alam ko malapit na. Pero, <laughs> ewan ko ba kay doktor ba na? Hindi naman niya ako pinapaiyak. Siguro kasi parang feeling ko, eto na yun eh, parang, um, eto na yun, whether, whether we go through with it or not, eto na yun, parang last chance na. So, kakakonsult lang natin kay Dr. Manalo. And, she makes it sound so simple. I don't know what our chances are. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm saying surgery na lang ulit. If you ask my asawa, ayaw na na ng surgery. I can't really remember how many surgery I went through. But in reality, I want to give our last embryo the best chance of survival. But... I also took more tests to check my immune system. Well, that explained why we lost Molly in 2019. Kikitain natin today, magpapakonsulta na tayo sa isang immunologist, reproductive immunologist. Ang pangalan ay si Dr. CJ Gloria. The first time I met him, hindi ko alam na sikat siya. At marami na siyang natulungan sa, uh, when it comes to pregnancy. So today, ang sinabi niya sa atin, get some blood tests, and ginawa natin yun. Ngayon, kinukunan tayo ng dugo for many tests, among which APAS. Pero hindi lang APAS yung ginagawa sa atin. So after consulting with an immunologist, ang dami niyang pinapakuha ang dugo. Magaan ang kamay niya. Pwede nang hanapin si Cassandra, ha? Marami-rami siyang kukunin tubo sa atin. Parang, yun naman isang litro. Marami-rami ang dugo, as you can see. Para tayo nag-bloodless. Sana okay yung results. And today, ang kanyang recommendation sa atin. So, there. Say hi, Agnes. Hi. Ayan, ha? So, again, we have one embryo and we are preparing our body sa awa ng just to welcome that one embryo to ensure that we have a successful pregnancy. Tignan mo yung result mo. Wow. I'm 35. That's my bad? That's your bad. That's your bad. And then, yung isa din, anti-TPO. Less than 5, So, ito yung result ko. Yes, that's your result. Dapat less than 5 ka lang. Yes. So, yung anti is the bad. This is a type of antibody. That's bad. Dapat lumalaban siya. Dapat hindi mo ginagawa yan sa katawan mo. Bakit siya nagkaganyan? Uh, that's the parang illness, that's the disorder that you have. Oh. Autoimmune. Yes. Autoimmune, meaning dapat 
uh, dapat wala kang ginagawang bad and ibadi. Pero, for some reason, especially in those above 35 years of age, uh, nakoconfuse yung immune system mo, gumagawa ka na ng bad antibodies. And what does the bad antibodies do? Makes your blood thick, um, um, increases your risk for miscarriages, um, essentially also makes it difficult for you to get pregnant. So at least ngayon, alam natin bakit nawala si Molly. Kasi, or at least potentially, no? Yes. Kasi pwede rin kasi, initially what they you would say, it's the chromosomes, it was the, the embryo itself wasn't yes. strong enough. That's the one of the, one of the possibilities, possibilities yeah, the din naman. But now we know because we only only have one embryo left, doing our best shot, or giving it our best shot. So ito, tinignan ko, ano bang katawan ko bago ilagay ang embryo sa katawan ko. So apparently, ting, 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 ayun na nga. Ito, kaya tayo na kay Dr. Gloria. So our objective, the 1% or 0%, kailangan natin na 50%. Minimum. Hi! Today is our first day na maglilit. Ano yung lit? Lymphocyte infusion therapy. Pupunan ng dugo si asawa at ilalagay sa akin. Hindi ko alam yung mismo paliwanag, ang doktor ang magpapalitan. Okay? So ngayon tayo ay papunta sa isang clinic para punan ng dugo si asawa. Ang aga-aga, alas 7 ng umaga, tapos mamaya pa after process, babalik na rin ulit kami para ilagay sa akin. Dito na kami. Pinakuna ng dugo si asawa. Shocks nakakatapa din pa rin. So yung dugong yan ang ilalagay sa akin. Na, tapos na kami. Kami ay papunta na sa uh, i-infuse na ituturok na sa akin yung dugo ni asawa. So tayo ay papunta sa Manila Doctors. Kasi nandun yung nagkiklinik yung doktor natin, si Dr. Gloria. Nandito na tayo ngayon sa, doc, sa clinic ni Dr. CJ Gloria. He's ready. Hindi ko napansin kanina kasi kala ko nakasummer at tayo si Doc. Kala ko, anyway, si Doc ay very patient, explaining everything step by step. Okay. Antayin natin si Sir para maghawak ng camera. <laughs> Kasi medyo masakit ito. Ay, talaga. Kasi malapot nga pala. Yes. OMG. Yes. So, mas masakit ba to dun sa allergy test? Yes. OMG! Para sa loob. Parali natin lahat ng debris. Ah, debris kasi galing sa makeup ko. Oops, napaghalata. <laughs> so, ang ginagawa natin ay immunotherapy. Ah, uh, kasi... Kung nga magpaniwanag, mali sasabihin ko doon eh. Yung probable or one of the causes that you had the miscarriage before was you did not have the good antibodies. So gumagawa tayo ng good antibodies. So simpleng term. So. Yes, gumagawa kayo ng good antibodies. So yung white blood cells ni sir, nandito na sa loob. Okay. Tapos aawain mo to. So, parang ina-advance natin yung conflict. Para pag nandiyan na si Vicky, hindi mo naaawa yan. Ah, alam na niya. Oo. Alam niya na, tolerant na. Naka-adjust na sila sa isa't isa. Exactly, yes. Very, makes sense. Yeah. So, that, that adjustment is from the good antibodies that you will have. Oh. So, paano ako napunta kay Dr. Gloria? Kasi may kaibigan tayo na natulungan niya. So, pero madami ba kayo, Dok, na ganyan itong klaseng doktor in the Philippines? Uh, I think we're less than 20. Ang <laughs> dami-dami nila. 20 lang. <laughs> For the whole Philippines. So, medyo concentrated kami sa Manila. There are some in Cebu. There are some in Davao. But very few. Okay. And these are live. Live cells. Wow. They're live oh, wow. cells. So, if you look okay. under a microscope, if you see it in culture. So, meron talaga silang live. Pero wow. hanggang mamayang gabi lang yan. Tomorrow, patay na sila. Wow. So, while they're alive, yes. we introduce uh, these cells to her immune system. Ay, asawa. Okay. Correct. <laughs> so, uh, it's not in the vein, kasi if you inject it in the vein, patay agad. So gusto natin, matagal silang buhay dito. So that's the premise behind it. Oh, Mawakan niyo yung camera with that hand. Okay, okay very good. Tapos mawakan niyo yung kamay ni ma'am para hindi ako suntokin. Okay. <laughs> Dok, hawakan niyo rin kamay yun, baka ako suntokin eh. This is ma'am. Have you deep breath. Nice, good. Okay, good. That's for one second. Here comes the cells. 
Oh, it will burn a little bit, yes. huh? Wow. Then if you look at it, there's a small white circle. Yes, it's only white. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to enlarge in the next few seconds. Oh, cells are going in. Very good. So smooth. Yeah. Um, masakit siya pero tolerable. Okay. Right, or baka mataas ba tolerance ko. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pero ang maganda dito, tag team to. Yes. Yun yung kagandahan dito. It's really... Yeah. That's done. That's done. Mm -hmm. So this is going to pulse. Mm -hmm. Because remember, they're alive. They're alive. Mm -hmm. So this is going to pulse. That's what their the patients say. That's, that's expected. Okay. okay. So don't freak out. In the next few seconds to minutes, you're going to feel something's there. Galing! So, Wow! <laughs> and it's going to keep getting larger. Let's see if there's a bundle. Let's see if there's a bundle. So, yeah. Either let it breathe or just going to put the bandage over it. And then, if you feel that it's tight later, mm -hmm. you loosen it. Okay. 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 So, um, it's a Velcro. It's a Velcro mm -hmm. bandage. And then afterwards, when we meet na tayo ng 50% and above, then our next plan will be the transfer. Okay. For your one remaining. Uh-uh. Doc, thank you. Yes. Galing nga. First time. Very good. All the instructions are Very good instructions. <laughs> Very good ka, Doc. <laughs> after my lymphocyte infusion therapy and after undergoing surgery for my myoma, ready na dapat ako for my embryo transfer. I did not expect the turn of events. Today is April 10, 2023. Good morning. Good morning. Ito na ultrasound natin. Malalaman natin kung kumapal o hindi yung uterine lining. Let's see. Yeah, so, manipis pa rin ang lining, no? Opo. So, mas manipis pa yung lining after several attempts of um, medicine and hormones so <sighs> absent na from radio kasi hindi ako okay nalungkot lang ng super pero klaro ako super klaro na ito yung pinagdarsal ko so masakit siya Kabustahin natin, asawa ko. Tignan nyo to ha. Anong klaseng tao si asawa. Dada! Yeah? How are you? Good. You're okay? Yeah. Dapat. Dapat asawa. Okay. Much to be grateful. Yup, daddy. Thank you, dada. Thank you, thank you. Love you, dada. Love you. It's April 28, 2023. After another round of hormones, malam from Dr. Manalo, how I'm doing. Malagi na kakatakot for me. Doc, tumatanda na ako. <laughs> ano ba ang gagawin ko? So how many? I've had the the hormones from ten days. Ko pala, ten days sa atin, yes. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung kid Doc Richie, meron din don. Mm -hmm. Tapos last year yata I took then. Mm -hmm. Malay mo naman. Oo. Malay mo naman, merong mag-carry. Hindi, hindi mo na-carry. Kaya, sisilipin natin. Kailangan yung pupitihin yung mga scar tissue. Okay? And, so, it's something in the world. We always talk about family planning in terms of birth control. But I feel family planning should be really about planning to have a family and addressing it as a couple. For worse, for nature, for poorer, for poorer, in sickness, sickness, in health, to death, to death, to us.
No matter the pain, I am grateful because of my asawa who not once pressured me to do things to my body. It is because of my husband's love for me that I am able to share our story. Yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. Give it time at Babawi. Lumabang na kangiti.